and don't be don't let people set these limitations on you without you even realizing they're doing it. And what I mean by that is and you can't do it because you might have a situation. So what? Everybody's got a situation. Everybody else out there saying, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. No way. You can't because you, you, you did this. You did that. You had, you don't have this. You don't have that. You're letting them, you're letting them set your, your limits. Quick, uh, real quick for everyone now. One of the things that happened, just so you guys know, as, as I said, I would talk about, like Mo, Mo has been kind of going through it a little bit because, and this is what I'm gonna tell you guys. If there's anyone out there with a criminal record, do not, I repeat, do not create a Airbnb hosting account um, in your name. Don't do it. Because Airbnb does a background check. Now, when I say a criminal record, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, I mean, I mean, when I say a criminal record, I mean, I'm talking typically, typically it's something violent, right? It's, it's, a, it's a violent felony type situation. That's what we thought. That's what we thought. And let me tell you why I said that's what we thought. Because Mo, Mo has done, you know, a number of years, right? He's paid his dues. And, um, and uh, what he ended up having to do we caught it before he did it because he went and started putting his listing on. I'm like, Mo, no, can't do that. And um, and so we shut that listing down before they did a background check because if they would have did a background check, they would have shut him down, right? And he wouldn't have been able to ever host, right? It was a violent felony, um, what, 20, 15, 20 years ago, whatever it was, you know? Um, but they still do that. And they do that because they, they don't know you or me from Adam. And there's a lot of crazy weirdos out there that are trying to do some crazy weird things to people. Right. And, um, but they, they put everyone in, you know, I guess that's what you, that's the easiest way to do it. Just kind of lump everybody up into one category, make life easy. Right. But, but everybody is not that, you know, some people have made just silly mistakes in the past. And they paid their they paid their dues. They changed, and that's not them, right? It was just it was a point in time. Um, so, so what he did was what we had to do is we had to get it up in someone else's name. So he shut that down, put it up in someone else's name, and um, but when he put it up in someone else's name, because it was still live in his account, they would not. Um, allow that new one to go live so he actually had to call in find out what's going on and they told him he needed to delist it delete it out of his account and um and he needed to send in the lease and um and so he did that within minutes they got up they got approved got live and and now he's he's ready to go got wow. his first one three week three weeks ago and and one of most big you know, big concerns was, hey, Jim, man, like he had a couple concerns, like from an income perspective, he had that background check perspective, had that. And, you know, my answer to him was, yeah, I mean, some people are going to want that. But if you implement the win-win strategies properly, right, and, and you do that right, the way I show you, then some of those people that want that, it won't matter. But everyone doesn't want it either, right? Some people want it, some people don't. Some people that want it, if you implement those strategies properly, they won't even ask. They won't. They won't. It won't matter because, because as I tell you guys this all the time, the reason why you're going to get these places is not because you're a great businessman or woman, you have all the money in the world. None of those things. It's going to be because they like you. They like you. And um, 
you know, and Mo, actually, you ended up getting two places, didn't you? And you gave one to your mom, right? In three weeks, he ended up getting two places and he gave one to his mom. So it, it, it works. It works. And, and don't be, don't let people set these limitations on you without you even realizing they're doing it. And what I mean oh. by that is thinking you can't do it because you might have a situation. So what? Everybody's got a situation, right? And and when I say people setting limitations, everybody else out there saying, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. No way, you can't, because you 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 did this, you did that, you had, you don't have this, you don't have that. You're letting them you're letting them set your your limits and and it's unnecessary and mo came with the same thing he came with a lot of energy a lot of motivation but then when it when the rubber hit the road it was time to get started he was like jim can i will this will this really work will it really work man because now now i'm starting like people are asking questions what should i say i said yo just be honest just be honest. Just just go ahead and implement the, the steps, but be honest with people. He was honest. Now he picked up two places in the last three weeks, three, three and a half weeks, and gave one to his mom, blessed her, and now he's got this one. Right. So um, so now. The other reason why I mentioned what Airbnb is doing is is because Reggie's going through it right now. Reggie had an issue. Hopefully, Reggie don't mind me sharing this, but Reg had an issue. Um, what eight years ago he got arrested for something, but he was never charged with anything. But I guess what and he called in. So so he had his listing up. I think it was up, and then next thing you know. It's not there anymore. And that's why I'm glad we shut you down quickly. Only thing he gave is say as well was his name. Listen, guys, his name and his date of birth. And what they did is they just match those up. And then they do a consumer report. Which is which shows your background and all that other stuff. It takes a little while for it to come in. Not long. Like once you become a host, it doesn't take that long. It might be a week week and a half or so or sooner and and if it if it's a match so hopefully mo you're not a co-host on on her account they're gonna boom they're gonna flag your account right if there's a match that comes up with an issue now what i said was if you have a felony record violent crime that's what it was up until today when this happened with reg He's not a felon. He doesn't have any violent crimes. He doesn't have any crimes. He has no criminal background, no record. But because that arrest is on his, his consumer report, now they're telling him, well, this is the process. You got to go. You got to, if your consumer report is wrong, you got to dispute the report, get it fixed, and then resubmit it to us. And then we'll, we'll take care of it. So... That's about a 45 day process. So I'm gonna say it again. If anyone out there, if you have something, right, that 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 could come back, doesn't make you a bad person, but Airbnb will flag you. So what I'm saying is don't open a host account in your name. Don't, because if you do that, then it's gonna it's it's gonna come back and you're gonna have a bunch of grief. Hey guys, it's Jim. I hope you're enjoying the series of videos that I'm putting out of my new student host. There's a couple that I put out before this, a couple that I'm putting out after as well. It's all real informative stuff to help you um, in your journey with Airbnb passive income. And if you do enjoy it, I'd ask you to do a couple things. One. To, if you're if we're on air if you're watching this on YouTube like and share the video um, and subscribe to the channel and if you're not on YouTube go ahead over to the channel and um, subscribe like and share the video if you want to be updated on on 
all the new uh, videos that are going to be coming up, as well as getting the the uh, the other ones that will also help you along along your uh, your journey of Airbnb uh, creating Airbnb passive income to, to be able to support the vision that God's given you for your life. And um, and then also, I don't know if you know, but we also have I also have a semi private group um, where you know we're in there and we share a lot of things um, in the group. Uh, you're able to to, to kind of see more of what this what my students are doing, and um, and also what some of the other folks that are doing that are just trying to get started and 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 you know and and getting some help um, without actually being a part of the uh, my academy. And so you can actually go over to that group. It's my Facebook group, and you'll find the uh, the link uh, to that group in in the description below. And so and if you're already in it, great. You're already in the group. You know what we're doing, and glad to have you. Now, the last thing is this, if you're already in a group or if you're not in a group and um, you're not a student, you know, and you like the information that uh, the free information that I'm sharing and you you feel like maybe this would be a great fit for you as far as being able to, you know, do Airbnb passive income without owning property, then schedule a a one on one with me. I'd love to meet with you. As you know, I love helping people start and grow their $5,000 to $15,000 a month Airbnb passive income business without banks, without experience, and without owning property. And so, yeah, schedule schedule an opportunity. I'd love to, as I said, I'd love to meet with you one-on-one and, you know, we can see if it's a good fit. I can, um, you know, give you some more information, some background about the academy and how everything works. And if it is a great fit and I'm able to give you an invitation because my academy is invitation only, but if I'm able to give you an invitation, then I'll give you an invitation, get you enrolled and get you started today. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting with you and working with you in the very near future. God bless you.